Hello everyone, how you guys are doing? I hope your article are going great and uh, you're learning and improving with your journey. Uh, so in this particular tutorial, uh, rather, it's not going to be a tutorial. <laughs> this is going to be a, some, uh, some tips, uh, which is uh, extremely important for, for you to, to know. Uh, you know, once you have started your, your journey with a watercolor, you should be aware, uh, you know, these five important uh, aspects of learning watercolor. So the number one tip I will give you is, uh, you should be knowing where to start your watercolor journey. Uh, because I've seen a lot of people, especially those beginners, who start doing watercolor directly, you know, jumping on the painting or you know, learning the color scheme or various other stuff, uh, which is not a right way to learn watercolor. So the very first thing you should be knowing is like, uh, okay, so there is a there's a certain process to learn watercolor. So you should be knowing that. Now you'll ask me, but what are all those? So the very first thing I would say, I would say is, uh, you should be you should start with the pencil strokes, drawing composition so these are the things that you should you should start with a lot of people are you know they ignore the value of uh, you know the pencil the depth and the light of the strokes through the strokes why right? those are very important and it really and it really helpful for you you know when you go to now actually you are applying the watercolor on the paper you'll you'll, you'll understand how does it really making a lot many sense Right. So until and unless you're not having a sufficient amount of expertise working on the drawings or you know those strokes, understanding the depth through the pencil strokes, you'll have a really tough time and it will be, I'm telling you, it will be like a very frustrating for you. So my humble request is to just, you know, spend some time, do a lot of sketch, do a really, really good sketch and uh, you know the composition is another one because you in a in a paper you need to compose the you know your, your paper your drawing should be proportionate so all of that this is where you need to start right and the number two uh, the most important the struggle the big fingers has is that uh, they will overburden themselves for, with the expectation to create a good art and that is something it's a, it's really not a, not a good approach at all. So when you going when you're going to make art, you just enjoy the process. You just just play around and just see like uh, okay how things are coming out, and you're just playing around with the color. Don't have that expectation that you know at the end of the day I'll be getting some masterpiece. That expectation is something like it's an overburden you. It gives you a stress. It gives you no. It, it holds your ability to be free, right? So, so just, you know, but keep yourself free. Be very free with the color and just throw out the color and just see like oh, at the end what you are getting. Whatever you are getting, you should be happy with that and enjoy the process. Enjoy the process. That's a very important, you know. Enjoy the process and just see like, uh, you know, at the end, whatever you're getting, just humbly accept that and celebrate. That's the, the that's the you know the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. So you will be doing that. And the third biggest the struggle the beginners has is they will start doing comparison. <laughs> uh, that's that's not a good uh, good way to you know uh, to start with a watercolor. Do not ever you know compare yourself your ability. You know with someone else if somebody is doing good you should not be just uh, you know feel like oh, okay i'm not able to make art the way he or she is making if you bring that kind of uh, you know uh, equality within you that actually you know it it gives you a, a, a lot of demotivation so everybody has some uniqueness you also have some unique ability right so just try to develop that just try to get an inspiration, but never compare yourself. Whatever you did, you should be very much happy with that. Whatever it is, because that's, it's, anyway, it's your art, your art of expression, it's you, right? 
and, uh, and if you start to go into comparison, so it will not be you, right? Because the, the person you are comparing with, he's the absolutely different individual, right? So never just, never ever take that uh, consideration and never compare your work and your ability with that. Remember that. And the number four is be motivated. Always be motivated, you know, and how you're going to be motivated is whatever you're doing and whatever the result you are getting, just celebrate, just enjoy and just say yourself like, okay, I did something and I have, I'm a creator. I'm creator of this artwork. And this is the way you should be, you know, motivating yourself. And this is the typically, it's a, it's a very important, uh, uh, you know, the important aspect of being a motivated, right? Uh, just see the someone else work and be motivated. How he has done it, how he or she has done that, what is their career path, right? And how they have done it. Just get an inspiration and be motivated. And create a lot of art. That's the that's the only way to be motivated. The more and more the art you will be making, you will see that kind of improvement. You will see that some uniqueness coming into you, into, into your painting. And the fifth, the most struggle part of any you know individual, uh, you know the student or the beginner basically has is that they are saying that they don't have quiet time. They don't. They can't. They, they just don't find the time to make art, to, to practice watercolor. Uh, yeah, I mean, I understand, like, Anna, everybody is busy, everybody has their own schedule, commitments, and all that. But it's you, right? It's you, how, how you're finding a time, being a creative way to find a time. My, when, I, when I was there, uh, when I was not getting a time, so what I did is, I just got him very early in the morning and finally this time the early morning doing some doodling doing some practice was a very really refreshing very refreshing it comes with a very fresh mind and uh, i totally enjoyed that and it really helped me a lot right the early morning the moment i just get up i just spend some time just doing the some bit of work right so when you're scheduling just see like you know, if you can spend some time in the early morning and uh and if, if you're free, like if you're a retired person, <laughs> of course, I mean, you you must have uh, some dedicated time for this. But yeah, but the, all I want to say is we just need to find a time, be very creative how to find the time. And, uh, and uh, this is how you're going to learn and conquer this medium. Watercolor is it's an amazing medium. And uh, it required a certain discipline, certain practice, and a lot of motivation, a lot of motivation, right? And that is something so you need to, uh, you know, just uh, develop within yourself. Right, so, yeah, uh, you must be knowing about my watercolor school. So visit my watercolor school. I have a certain plan, certain membership program uh, for all the level of, uh, you know, the beginners or the semi-advanced learner. So please explore that and if you feel like uh, you wanted to join and uh, take your watercolor journey in the next level, so I'm really, I'm really happy to help you and I really want to see you there in my watercolor class. Right, so thank you so much everyone and I will be coming with a new video very soon. Take care, enjoy yourself.